of all patients in the first study that we now are To start with a, let's say, simple question. Uh, what is a chaperone in real life? And what is a chaperone in the circumstances, in the atmosphere of PKU disease? This is an interesting question that nobody would have asked 15 years ago. And um, the fact that we can answer this question is the result of a very long research work period. Um, the story is that uh, in the year 1999, a Japanese colleague made an observation. And he made the observation that the cofactor of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase uh, that is needed for normal action of the enzyme can restore phenylalanine concentrations or reduce phenylalanine concentrations also in patients that do not have a deficiency of this cofactor. Until those days, we had two classes or two groups of PKU patients. The big group, 98% of patients, that had phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency and with no BH4 deficiency. The cofactor was normal there. And there was a tiny little group of 2% of patients that had BH4 deficiency. And the general rule was those with enzyme deficiency receive diet and those which with cofactor deficiency receive the cofactor as a tablet because the cofactor was lacking just to replace the cofactor. And this Japanese colleague made the astonishing observation that four patients showed a reduction in blood fee concentrations although they did not have cofactor deficiency. And in the following years, we all learned that an important subgroup of PKU patients can benefit from this cofactor, BH4, although they do not have deficiency. And today, 30 to 50% of patients can be treated with this cofactor and have much less or even no diet. But at the time of approval, nobody knew how does this cofactor work. And you could say, well, it's fine. It just works. Just leave it. My husband and myself, we asked the question, we want to learn how the mode of action is, because probably we can learn more general things and maybe things that are also applicable to other disorders. And then we went to the laboratory and did a lot of, lot of, lot of experiments. And we learned that BH4 is a chaperone. So what is a chaperone? A chaperone is a tiny little molecule that can correct folding of a protein. And to understand this, you have to know that Enzymes and proteins in the human body have a defined shape. It's a beauty, in the case of PAH, a very beautiful 3D structure that looks like a butterfly. And this is the healthy enzyme. And if you have gene mutations affecting this enzyme, the protein changes the shape. It gets bigger, it loses its symmetry, and it just doesn't look like a normal protein. And then the body says, oh, I have to get rid of this. This doesn't look like normal. It works. Unfortunately, it works in the patient, but it's eliminated because of its ugly looking. And then the patient loses the function of enzyme. And now BH4, this is what we learned over the years, binds to this awesomely looking protein and restores the 3D structure as it was thought by nature. It restores the butterfly and by this the function of the protein. And a corrector of protein misfolding, this is what we call a chaperone. So for patients and their family, what's the lesson? What we learned that all these missense mutations lead to protein misfolding. And these are 67% of 
all disease-causing mutations in humans. And this, on the other way around, means that also for patients suffering from other disorders, chaperones can be developed because they are all potentially pharmaceutically treatable. That is what we learned now. And there are disorders that are much more severe than PKU or don't have a diet or something, just do not have a treatment option. And we are currently working on several other diseases with the same mechanism. Um, do you think that uh, there are other chaperones that are better than uh, Kuvan? I've always said from the beginning that Kuvan works but is not the ideal molecule. One thing is that the so-called bioavailability of the molecule is very low. So if you swallow one tablet, only 10% of what you swallow will make an action because the rest is lost. So I've always said, hmm, difficult. On the other hand, it's the compound is very unstable. So uh, it, it changes its properties in the body. And I've always said it could have been better. But the one hand is, do you want a better molecule for the same patients? You can, but you don't have to, because at the end it works like it is, and it is now established, and it's OK. We lose 90%, but OK. But there is another group of patients with other mutations that do not benefit from Kuvan because they have different molecular mechanisms in the cell. They do not lead, for example, to this change of shape, but they lead to aggregation. So all the proteins stick one together. And there we have to find substances that can be directed against this. And this is what we are currently working on. We had we performed a screen starting from 8 million compounds and coming down to 300 that we tested in the lab and coming down to four compounds that do act at different levels on the PAH protein. And here we focus exactly on those who not do not have an option today because what we have to say is that the introduction of the new drug led to a disruption of the PKU community. The patients were divided into two groups. Those with the milder forms are responding to the new drug and now have a much easier life. And unfortunately, those with the severe mutation that do not have a protein where something can bind, so with the stricter diet, they are left behind today. And they are still on diet and still do not have an alternative. And this is what we are working for, that this group also gets a new drug. So still there's a trigger to search for an alternative. Oh, yes. And are you optimistic in finding it? Yes. We, we already have things in hand, and I know that others are working on it. And of course, there are also other ways to treat. We are currently uh, in the uh, approval process of an enzyme substitute, and we will see how this will work. But I think there, in the last 10 years, or 15 years, there's now really huge activity. After 50 years of diet, and everybody thought PKU is solved, just make the diet. But nobody of us did one day of diet. This is what I always say. A patient once told me, you don't have PKU. And I said, yes, you're right. And this is, I think, why it is so necessary to continue uh, the battle for new t treatment strategies. And now activity, starting with Kuvan, has really started and there will be new treatments in the very soon future. Thank you very much, also on behalf of the patients worldwide. Yes, welcome. It's a pleasure.